Hi there, Massimo here from the Blue Mortgage team. And today I'm gonna to be showing you an introduction to Zoho Sign. I'm gonna show it to you from the Zoho One perspective as most of our clients actually use Zoho One now. So I'll show you how to add it to your suite of products. But then I'll also show you how to set it up properly, how to navigate and how to start using it quickly. So if you're a Zoho One client, you're going to go into one.zoho.com and then you're gonna click on applications. If you don't already have Zoho Sign attached to your account, I would encourage you to hit add application and you can use this little magnifying glass to search for it. Zoho Sign. And what you can actually do is this here. View all apps. And then I'm actually gonna just scroll to show you it and here it is. So it's actually just called Sign. So now I'll hit add. If you haven't added it before, it's going to add it. And now you have added it successfully. So what I can do now in a new tab is I can go to sign.zoho.com and I'll walk you through kind of an introduction to this app. So you can see right when you land, it gives you two options. Zoho tries to keep it very simple. So you can immediately send something out for signature or sign yourself. So the scenarios are here, you're sending to a client, colleague, friend, whatever, or someone sent you a document and you wanna sign it and send it back to them. But before I get into all of that, I'm gonna walk through some of the settings you should set up first. So along the left-hand side, you can see there's a bunch of tabs and I'm gonna straight away go to settings. So first off, I'm gonna start with my profile. This is important because you can set up a photo of yourself, your email, but more importantly here, you can actually set your signature. Now you can draw it if you'd like, you can upload one if you already have it, or you can just type it and it'll choose three signatures for you and you would choose which one you like. The reason why this is important is because every other document that is sent to you now and that you sign with Zoho Sign, you don't really have to sign anymore. It'll just take the signatures from your profile. You should also fill out all the detail you have here. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, I'm Tom Demo. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put my company and my title and hit update. So now I've set up my profile. This is a great first step. The next thing you're definitely gonna to wanna to look at is notification settings. So this is basically when do you or your client wanna receive notifications? So more importantly is you. So when you send a document, this is basically saying, do you wanna get notified when your client opens it? If yes, turn this on. And then you can see there's the rest here, when they sign it, when it's approved, when it's declined, when it's recalled, et cetera. Um, these are some admin settings. Most of our clients don't actually use this, but just so you understand what it is, you can get notified when people are added or deleted from the account. And then this is actually received documents. So same sort of thing. If you want notifications at certain stages, you can turn this off whenever you'd like. Keep, the, keep in mind though, that if you have an organization with many users, this is for the whole company, not just you. So keep that in mind. Um, and then, I'm going to go down to users. So if you're not on Zoho One, this is how you would actually add users. If you are on Zoho One, you'll do it in the Zoho One admin panel. Organization, sorry, account settings is very important too. So here is basically, again, for the whole organization, how long someone has to complete a document. And then, so you could say basically documents or contracts or whatever you're calling them expire after X amount of days. You can also change the frequency of reminders. So you can say, well, I wanna remind the client every five days or two days or one day, again, for the whole organization. Then you can also make them authenticate when they go to sign the document. So they would go sign the document and then it would shoot them a text just to make sure they're a real person. Very few of our clients use this, but it is there. And then this is also an interesting one. So basically when an email is sent, do you wanna send it from one email address every time? So abc at blueroot.co always sends the document, you would choose this. Or whoever is sending the email, so if I'm sending it, it comes from my email. If you're sending it, it comes from your email. Or it can be this long, kind of funky looking Zoho sign email address. Completely up to you. Most of our clients use this one, where it's just one email, signing at, or documents at, whatever. Or this one. Um, and then, the last piece here is, uh, th there's a few things here. 
these, most of our clients don't actually change. Uh, but the, the piece that may be interesting to you is you can actually send them to a custom landing page when they're done the document. So maybe if you have a very productized process, you're selling a SaaS software or something like that. Once they sign a document, you may want to redirect them to an online form or something to keep the process going. Domains, this is a important one and interesting one. Basically, you do want to verify your domain. Uh, it will auto default to your domain that you have as a company. And when you hit verify, this is something that uh, you need to run by your webmaster, but essentially this text record and DKIM record need to be added into your web host, whether that be GoDaddy or Microsoft or whoever hosts your actual domain, you need to add this in. The reason why this is important is if you don't, the system will still work, but it has a higher likelihood of getting spammed in your client's inbox. So if you do this, excuse me, when you do this, when an email is sent, it'll actually send through your domain and through your server, not Zoho's. So the likelihood of it getting spammed reduces dramatically. So I would encourage you to do this, but again, not necessary um, for the software to actually work. Legal disclosure, you can turn this on and it'll be at the bottom of all of your documents. And then the last piece that people like working with is email templates. So when you turn this on, you'll see that you can customize all of the email templates within Zoho Sign. So if you want, for example, this is when someone signs a document or is being requested to sign a document, you can edit the template, you can change the colors, you can change the text. Um, and within the template, you can actually, you see here, there's some merge, temp, merge tags. You can move them around if you'd like. Let me just zoom out here a bit. So you have a lot of control over what you can actually customize within this template. And I would encourage you to uh, customize it as much as you'd like. A lot of people like changing the color, putting in their own logo and things of that nature. Once you set all of this up, I'm gonna have a separate video on how to send a document, how to sign a document, but these are important steps to successfully sign up your Zoho Sign account. Thank you.